Hi there, what I'd like to talk about today is what is gifted? Now there's a lot of definitions and depending on your experience, your school district, maybe your education or your background, that actually means a lot of different things. And what I subscribe to personally that you might also want to learn more if you've already heard about him, um, Joseph Renzulli comes up with, he's a you know very famous for a lot of his gifted research and his um, contributions to this field, is he has a notion of the three ring conception of giftedness. That means he's going to pull in three different aspects that he believes actually define a gifted child. So one of the three rings is, of course, a very typical above average ability. Now, most of the time, you're going to think about this in regards to testing. So if your student is already in the third grade or above, they've gone through a state or federal mandated test where you've gotten results and you know what level they're at, whether it's far below basic, below basic, basic, proficient, and advanced is typically how that goes. Some schools are actually very restrictive. When they're going to label somebody gifted, they actually want the top 1%. Yet at the same time, all schools function differently. So the above average ability is one that we're most familiar with. The next one that I really subscribe to myself is task commitment. I'm not sure if it's, there we go. Okay, so task commitment means that this student is above average in regards to or in relation to his or her peers in how long they can engage in a task. And that's without any direction that's more of a self-initiated engagement in a particular task that usually involves some kind of problem solving or real life application skills. So, so far we've got, here's one, we've got the above average ability, which is more testing and grades and things like that. We have task commitment. And the third one is high levels of creativity. Now, creativity to a lot of us means the realm of the arts, and this could be, yet not, we don't always see that in the general education classroom. But creativity often stipulates there is a notion of original thought. So if your child or your student displays a very unique and rare way to get to a solution as far as problem solving, their, their creativity may stem from the arts, music, dance. It also could be in writing. It also could be in the form of social leadership. Unfortunately, these two things aren't always easy to observe because if you're if these children are not being put in a position in order to engage in a task or a project for example and if they're not able to use some original thought process then unfortunately these things get stifled and they don't grow and we need to foster that growth as educators and as parents so i really like this as far as it kind of answers the question for me, what is gifted? So I'll let you kind of sit on that, digest it, chew on it, think about your child or the student in question, and think about if you can give plenty of examples of all three of these things. And again, I do put these webinars on for parents and teachers because these are actually things that you would be able to observe in the home, okay? So regardless of where you're coming from, this might help you answer this question.